Hey guys, welcome back to Ascending with Tip Talks 22. This is a new episode and it's really just me needing to get something off my chest because I feel like I have been commenting all over the place and I was like, you know what? I would like to get all my thoughts out or as many as I can remember now uh, <laughs> about this situation in one spot, right? So, of course, we are going to talk about the slap heard and seen around the world. Um, it happened last week at the Oscars, um, the award show here in the USA. Um, and it was a smack delivered at the hands of uh, renowned actor Will Smith. Uh, two delivered to uh, equally renowned comedian Chris Rock, right? So, <laughs> Chris Rock hosting uh, the Oscar award show made a joke. Um, I believe it was about appearance, um, about Jada Smith's appearance, uh, Will Smith's wife. Uh, but it was about, he compared, where he compared her to G.I. Jane. So he just basically said, uh, something like, congratulations on G.I. Jane 2. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> and, you know, it was, it was a joke, right? It's what, what, um, comedians do. It's what comedians are tasked to do. They make jokes. Okay. This is their job in my opinion it's their job he definitely was there to do a job otherwise he wouldn't have been on stage at that particular time he was making jokes okay so will smith's initial reaction was major laughter okay he definitely laughed um and then his wife kind of gave this snarly look she kind of rolled her eyes you know and then Will Smith decided to be upset and to take action where he got up, walked up to and on the stage and slapped this grown man. Okay. So <laughs> I say it like that because like that is what happened. And I'm a firm believer that when you invade someone's personal space, you really have um, no room to determine how they choose to react when you are in their space. So for him to walk up there to do that, not only did it show a lack of self-control, um, and poor judgment, it was risky because he didn't know how Chris was going to react, right? That's why I think, you know, when people say certain things, you may have heard the statement where people will say, uh, if you're feeling froggy, jump, right? <laughs> you're feeling froggy, jump, because you don't know what's going to happen as a result of you jumping, right? So let's just put that out there. Now we have some people saying, he shouldn't have been making fun of her alopecia. Let's be honest. Jada, Jada Smith has always kept a really short haircut. Um, she has often even buzzed it short, like like it is now, right? Um, she went on social media just a few days prior saying how in love she was with her haircut. She didn't care if uh, what anybody thought or said about it, etc. So... For this to be enough of an offense for her to give her husband, her puppet, the look that he felt like he needed to defend words with physical violence, physical action was mind blowing to me. Let me tell you something else that's even more mind blowing. That Chris stood up there assaulted because that's what it was. You put your hands on somebody, you assaulted me. Um, stood up there assaulted, not one piece of security, 
Not one other masculine came to his defense, checked on him. Are you okay? Um, nobody like offered help, right? In that moment. So, um, definitely I think being somebody who, him being someone who had dealt with bullies before in his life, I'm pretty sure that was traumatic for him. The fact that it was recorded and it was live and it was fr in front of millions and is to be seen around the world from now until forever um, creates a bigger problem, bigger emphasis on the trauma. Uh, so the fact that he showed so much restraint and did not react physically, man, I got to tell you, I have not ascended that far. <laughs> so I just kudos to him. Kudos to him because that just showed a tremendous amount of self-control. What Mr. Smith showed, in my opinion, on, on in that regard was a complete opposite, a lack of self-control. People are saying, oh, he snapped. No, ma'am. Snapping implies reflex, right? It implies reflex. It means, okay, you did something spur of the moment. Something came over you and you know. That is not what happened. This man, not only did he laugh, he sat He sat there. He laughed. He had a moment to look at his wife, who didn't think the joke was funny, um, to think about this. Well, I'm about to go do something. To take himself all the way to the stage and then to make his physical move. That is premeditation. <laughs> that is not impulsive. That is not snapping. That shows bad judgment. That shows lack of self-control. Um, while he may not have been able to control himself, who was in control of that moment, his wife Jada. But we're going to get to that. I'm trying to get it into the, this whole little time frame, y'all. Uh, after that, she could be seen um, laughing, smiling, laughing at the jokes from the same man who just made the joke that you didn't like. But now it's all okay because you in your narcissism were able to control or manipulate this man with a simple facial reaction to do your dirt, to do your bidding, right? So you got this man to embarrass himself, to step out of his character of who he feels he is and the man that he wants to be to go up there and do some dirt, physical violence, right? So that, child, don't even get me started on her. She might be a whole different episode. But anyway, what something else that I've noticed around this situation is the lack of pushback and support of Chris Rock from celebrities, right? I don't celebrate none of them. They are people just like we are, right? But it's so sad to me to see that, um, you know, in a world full of sheep, people are afraid to be peacocks, right? You're afraid to go against what is the popular opinion, even if it's right. Fear of, I don't know, um, looking like not, I don't support the cool guy, right? That is mob and bully mentality, right? And it just really, really, really made me sad to see so many of these people. Um, I'm thinking too, Tiffany Haddish in particular was saying, I'm so glad to see a man standing up for his wife. Let me tell you something. If you think that in order to prove your love, you have to get physical or violent on their behalf, you have a distorted view of what love is. Now, Tiffany, having grown up in foster homes and having to fend for herself and for many of much many years of her life, uh, I understand where this may have developed. But the fact that she made that statement and thought that this was a good thing just confirms that she needs to continue to heal. Okay. This makes me think of people who would say, um, 
in a relationship, like I be trying to make him jealous, but he don't react. He don't love me no more. Uh, if he don't, if he don't hit me, he don't love me. <laughs> you need some type of physical reaction. That is not healthy. That is not a healthy view of what love is. But something else that I saw is the lack of accountability on Will Smith's part. Um, it's that the devil made me do it kind of energy. When you say the devil made me do it or the devil is testing me, you give your own personal power away. You have the power to control you, your reactions, and the choices that you make. So to say, to make statements like that is just beyond me. Um, so what I'm hearing, because he did later make an apology uh, indirectly <laughs> and sadly, Apologies without change behaviors are just manipulatives, right? But um, what I heard him say was, I apologize for it. And then he went on to kind of make an excuse like, well, I did this, but, you know, don't be making fun of people. Dude, it's a joke. So still... With that but, you negate everything that you said or erase everything you said prior to the but, right? So, <laughs> so that still shows a lack of accountability, which brings me to that word accountability. Accountability is doing something, being able to say, I did this, I know that I was wrong, I am remorseful, and it won't happen again. Accountability is not saying, well, I did this, but if you hadn't done that, then I wouldn't have did that. No, nah. but that's what we're teaching people. We are teaching our children and they are growing up to be these same wounded adults that if you can get out of being held accountable for something, do or say whatever it is that needs to be done or said to do so. It is directly connected to the lens that people go through, go to, uh, to cover up their lies, their misdeeds, um, their ulterior motives. It's, it's the very same thing. People will move hell and high water to avoid accountability. And it is really sad. I feel like, um, this situation happened though. I, I did mention Jada and her narcissism. I feel like this situation happened uh, to bring the severity of Will's wounds to his own attention, not even to ours, to his own attention so that he can see this is how far off the deep end this situation has gotten you. Because some sometimes I feel like it is so difficult for us to see our own flaws Um I have since learned that even in his recently released book or his memoir, I don't know what it's called, um, he actually alluded to having a history of being controlled by women. So if you're able to give your man a look and like an attack dog, he strikes. Baby, that's some, that's some powerful ability to control. Okay. And we could feel sorry for Will and make Jada the bad, the bad guy, which she is. But at some point, you have to realize the bad guy's effect on you, right? And you have to make a choice to remove yourself from certain situations. This man doesn't want to feel like a failure about his marriage being over. And we go to the, the length of making ourselves suffer even more so. To keep from saying, hey, this situation didn't work out, ain't working out, and is not for my highest good. So we're going to have to bail on this, right? We are humans. We grow. We evolve. We make mistakes for sure. But we grow and evolve. And our likes, dislikes, desires, they all change. And we have the right to change our mind. My prayer for Will is that he sees the effect that this particular situation has on her, on him, and how it has been a repeating pattern in his life and chooses to make a change in this pattern. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about it. I feel like that's all. I'm really uh, look, watching the time right now. <laughs> if I think of something else, though, you know I'll be back. Um, I hope this was helpful for somebody. Accountability, though, is going to be the word of the year.
because it's so frustrating to watch and it's such a disservice to our kids. Thanks for listening, subscribing, sharing. Bye-bye, guys. Catch you soon.